Have you ever heard about hate speech? Do you know what hate speech actually mean? It is one of the most important disaster that has to be curtailed. So to know more about hate speech, just stay tuned in this video. So let's start with the question, what is hate speech? See, there is no specific definition of hate speech. But in the 267th report of the Law Commission of India, hate speech is defined as an incitement to hatred primarily against a group of persons. This group of persons is defined in terms of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation and religious belief. So in simple words, hate speech is any word written or spoken sign or visible representations within the hearing or sight of a person with the intention to cause fear or alarm or incitement to violence. So here what you have to notice, some of the provisions in law actually criminalize all actions like speeches, writings, signs and the presentations that create violence and spread disharmony between communities and groups. So now let us see some of the legal provisions regarding these hate speech in India. Now suddenly hate speech is in news because Azam Khan who is a Samajwadi party leader have got three years imprisonment for hate speech. See provisions related to hate speech can be found both under Indian Penal Code that is IPC and under Representation of Peoples Act. See under IPC there are three sections which you have to make note of. First are sections 153A and 153B of the IPC. Both the section punishes acts that cause enmity and hatred between two groups. Then comes the section 295A of the IPC. This section deals with punishing acts which deliberately or with malicious intention outrage the religious feelings of a class of persons. Now the third section that you have to remember are sections 5051 and 5052. See both make the publication and circulation of content which may cause ill will or hatred between different groups and offense. So this is regarding IPC. Now under representation of people's act in sections 123 clause 3a and 125 of the representation of people act both bars the promotion of animosity on the grounds of race, religion, community, caste or language in reference to elections and include it under corrupt electoral practices. So these are all some of the safeguards provided against hate speech in our Indian Penal Code and Representation of People's Act. Now here comes the question why hate speech should be curbed. See there are numerous reasons for that. First is internal security. I hope you all remember about Musafar Nahar Royds of 2013. It was triggered by a fake video that incited communal passions. So to prevent such kind of spread of hatred among two communities and to maintain internal security, these laws are very important. Second reason for why hate speech must be curbed is because hate speech ignites extremist sentiments. Now thirdly, to prevent mob lynching and spread of misinformation and disinformation, curbing the hate speech is very very important. I hope you all remember the Delhi Roids. The Delhi Roids is a very good example of misinformation and disinformation. So in order to curb all these and to live in peace and harmony, hate speech must be curbed. I hope through this video you got a clear cut idea about what is a hate speech and why it should be curtailed. So to know more about such topics, just subscribe to Shankarai's Academy YouTube channel.